and so they can yes so welcome to all those who are here and those who will watch this video later thank you thank you thank you for being here and i would like to uh, formally begin our, our our meeting with a prayer um, so I will invite you to be with me and just join in prayer I call upon our divine presence I am our guardian angels and the archangels masters and guides to come and help and support us specifically I call upon the divine presence of King Pakal uh, my he graces with love, with information. May I be an open channel to receive and share the information he wants to share with us now. The reason why he gave us uh, this code and um, just feeling very, very grateful for all the love and support. Uh, may I be an open channel, clear to really be the voice of the other realm and I thank you all for your love and presence. I call upon Archangel Michael for divine guidance and protection, Archangel Metatron to be the gatekeeper, Archangel Gabriel to help me with the communication. Thank you all the planets that support us and that are also present here as planet Jupiter, Venus and Mercury for communication. Thank you all. Thank you, Jesus and Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, Grandmother Anna, for being also here and my galactic family and friends. Thank you, the Arturians. Thank you, Pleiadians. All loving friends and family, all loving friends and family, you're welcome, 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 Archangel Raphael, with your healing energy. Thank you all for your love and support, Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Jeremiah, Archangel Christia. Thank you all, all our animals, our beloved pets that are also here. We also have the Urma lions. Thank you all for your love and care and support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're ready to begin. So, my dear friend, I'm very happy to share this code that I received from Kim Pakal. So, who is Kim Pakal? Kim Pakal was a king that, a uh, very important king. His kingdom, uh, uh, he reigned for 80 years, I believe. He became a king when he was a child, very young, and his mother uh, was the one who supported him while he was still a child until he was able to fully uh, get the power. So King Pakal was this king in, in Mexico. You can Google it. He did great things. He built castles and, 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 and did a lot of good things for his people. And he was in direct connection with uh, the Galactics, specifically with the Pleiadians more than any other race. He will have this connection. He was a very wise king and he was very connected. Uh, to his uh, divine presence, I am, his higher self. And that allowed him to, to get that loads and inspiration to, to reign over his people, to build castles, and to create uh, music, art. And he was like, he, his kingdom was very prosperous, but he was very connected with uh, Mother Earth, and 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 the divinity so he was very successful and but the thing that he's most proud is the connection that he has with his higher self and the connection he had with mother nation 
Mother Nature and the Galactics. So he came to actually is is a friend that talked that asked me if I could channel Kim Pakal and I was not sure because I didn't know him at all. I didn't know anything about at this not consciously so i asked archangel metatron if i could have any information and in kinpakal was very kind and generous to come personally and answer all of well actually meet me first and and give me this information and this code for all of us and his desire for us is to really connect with um, our divinity and also connect with our brothers and sisters from the star he was able to have this direct contact with them in person so he was so connected that he knew that humanity will come to a moment where people will not be as so connected but the, the planet earth will ascend so he made a promise to Gaia to come back and be here at this moment to help and guide those people who were uh, really going through this transition and that is why he is contacting some people like us people who are awake and who are um, you know trying to connect more and more with our divine presence so he shared that code because he, as someone who had a life here and he was able to have this physical contact with our galactics, he wants that for us to experience the same. And he was saying that um, it is possible for us to experience this. What he showed me that is like, to some people it can take 20, years or 30 years for this to happen but he also said that some people are already having this kind of connection so what he was trying to tell me is that more and more people will be able to have this experience and what allows someone to have the experience is the alignment that you have with if you desire to have that kind of connection if you are energetically prepare if, if you are in that place of love and openness to to have that kind of contact so i wanted to also talk in this um, meeting about um, a wonderful workshop that i am planning to do in the month of april it must probably be on a Saturday and I will try to do it at around 4 p.m. Easter day time so in any case people uh, from England can join us at that time just in case I think it's a good timing and um, the purpose of this workshop is to create a code everyone who's going to participate or who's going to watch the video later is going to create a code so we're going to begin with a prayer and then we're going to have our intention we can create a code for our own or for someone else or for uh, planet earth it could be i will give you some examples it could be that you have something that you want to improve that you want to work on and you can visualize that situation that thing and you think about it and then you create a shape whatever comes to your mind perhaps you might see it perhaps uh, but even if you don't see anything just try to think about the situation and try to draw whatever comes no judgment so that is the situation as is after that we're going to do another code and that other code we are going to infuse what we really want for that situation to change so it it really it can be anything you it, it can be beautiful things too for example let's say that you are a happy um, 
grateful, uplifting person and you feel a lot of love and you are very connected and you will love for people, for humanity as a whole to have this kind of experience that you're having, your connection uh, with the angels guide or simply just be happier. So you are going to think about that. Oh, I want to help to create a code for humanity that is going to help them to connect with that happy version of themselves, to connect with that in their life that can help them to, to be more joyful no matter what. Then you put that into a code. It could be as simple as a line, as a two lines, two dots, as you can see, this code, he, uh, Kim Pakal gave it to me, but it's very, very simple. It's just a few lines with the little dots, colorful dots. So it's nothing complicated. It's just what is important is the intention behind and putting that into an image. When we are doing that, we are channeling the energy, but we are also receiving more energy. And uh, for those of you who have perhaps read the, chan the recent channeling from Laurent Philippe, that uh, he was having this conversation with the Archangels and Source, and they were talking about the importance of doing art and, and how powerful it is. So I've been doing that because I've been receiving, but I want to extend that to others. So I want to do this because it's simple, it's very effective, and I like this idea of co-creating together and see what comes through, you know, no, no, no big expectations, no, just simply allow. Sometimes uh, simple things are better. So I would like to ask our guides if there is any message that we need to receive at, at this moment, please, or any activation or anything at all. So I invite you to simply be in the present moment. Yes, we are here with you. I am Archangel Sandalfin, Archangel of Music. I am here to remind all of you how delightful it is to see you sharing music. Music opens the door to different realities and realms. The frequencies are very helpful to uplift your spirit and to receive guidance. As when you are listening to music, you open up your channel and you can receive easily. Listening to the harp music can be very helpful. For this week and the weeks ahead, listening to music from instruments 
that are played with the hands, like the harp, piano, drums, are very helpful. Also, as you know, listening to music that will help you to open the heart chakra, the crown chakra, the root chakra, and the earth star chakra are also very welcome. There is a need in the light workers community for grounding and balance. And one of the chakras that is related to balance is the earth star chakra and also the chakras that are on your hands. A lot of light codes and sacred geometry comes through your hands in the form of energy, Reiki, and the therapists who use their hands in massages and those kind of therapies. Even those who don't do that will benefit for working with their hands and using their hands to heal themselves and to put them in places of their body with the intention of healing. I am the Archangel of Music and I am delighted to be here with you. Okay, thank you very much. So I am going to play the drums then. Uh, in this case, so let me see. I'm going to use the drums that I call Mary Magdalene and uh, this is a very heavy drum compared to my other but let's see
our own divinity. So what we might remember, our origin, where we come from. So we align ourselves with our divine presence, with our true blueprint, our essence. So we can be our authentic self and we can prepare for further connection with ourself and with our galactic family. My wish for all light workers, star seeds, to awake to their true nature, to more connection and to more balance in their life. So this process That was an Arcturian transmission with codes also from Andromeda. And uh, Archangel Sandalphon. I saw him playing the harp with an harp in his hands. I also saw him as a Native American who was on a boat and he was in the water towards the end I saw him on a boat in the water um, on a boat in the water sailing to calmer waters trusting in the flow of water that we are safely guarded and protected through this process. That is normal for us to go through all these emotions. But that we are never alone. that we simply have to follow the rhythm of the music of our soul as is guiding us and showing us the way And that these are times of celebration. And very, very soon we'll be celebrating all of the accomplishments and the good things that are coming. That is beyond 
our expectation that we are used to see what had happened to humanity and that sometimes we lose faith and we become impatient but we will see the rewards and we will be so happy very soon and that we will understand that everything was worth it that everything played out in the way it was supposed to be also our friends and galactic family they also are looking from the other side they too want to see the changes that everything is being done masterfully nothing and no one is being left behind even our pets that we can rest assured that we are being instructed and that we as humans give instruction instructions to in our dream time, we get together, we discuss. New plans, new outcomes are being prepared now from us and our teams. We are deciding on new situations while we respect the choices that others have made. That we understand that some people are not ready to face the changes that are coming. So we have decided to allow everyone to have their own process and those who are further ahead in the process will have 5D experiences more wisdom and more connection with the spirit the galactic family and friends and way more abundance new codes of abundance a new consciousness around finances a new empowerment about having resources and how to use them a new consciousness a complete new consciousness
the crystals are also supporting us and that we will see great changes on the Scorpio season. Thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you very much. A Scorpio season is, let me Google that. What is a Scorpio season? I think a Scorpio is a sign on the horoscope. I just want to see Scorpio, sorry about that. Scorpio season. My Scorpio dates, maybe. Okay, October 23rd until November 21st. Okay, on the fall, on the fall season. So I want to say thank you. Ariel, did you get anything in particular? Any energy, something you would like to share? I don't see you typing, so I don't know if you can hear me or if you can type or something. Anyways, um, yeah, what I saw was mainly Archangel Metatron. Oh, I saw the crocodile and the crocodile as an animal as a totem is is very powerful crocodile always goes um is 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 a very um it has a longevity so half sun coming up but it was purple around it was orange gold and red yes oh my goodness that is so cool that is so good because i have been uh, seeing a lot of uh, red, orange, and, and purple. And actually, Mother Mary gave me a message the other day, and, and she was talking about red and purple. She was talking about the root chakra, if I recall correctly, and she, was, she said red, and then she said uh, purple. And in my head, because we are so used to, I thought purple, the root chakra, and all that, that's not. I thought maybe I, I misunderstood, but actually no. What she meant by that is that we are, uh, yes, 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 we are uh, transmuting with the violet flame, the, uh, the, 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 with the fire flame, we are transmuting the red energies that are in the root chakra. And then you're, you're writing here that you were an Indian with full headdress doing healing work. Oh, God bless you. Thank you, Ariel. We are blessed to have you. Uh, I believe you. I saw, I saw Archangel Metatron also dressed as this Native American which I love, he, you know, in the, in the uh, Oracle card deck from Amanda Ellis, the Oracle card that represents uh, Archangel Sandalphon is a Native American and there's red behind him. So I saw him like that too, but I saw him in the water, so I find it interesting. And uh, so Mother Mary was telling me that the violet flame is transmuting the red. So there's no coincidence that I'm wearing red and kind of uh, lavender, you know, even my earrings have blue and a little bit of lavender and pink and all that and have sun too. Uh, and the whales with the stars, so very galactic too. 
and water. And why is this transmutation? Is because in our chakra, our root chakra, that is the root of feeling safe, um, feeling um, supported and having the wealth to take care of us. But also in our root chakra, that has there has been greed, there has been scarcity mindset and consciousness and programs. So there is a lot of, there has been a lot of fear. So with the violet flame, we are transmuting everything that was in our root chakra. And then uh, those of us who has done extensive healing on that issue, we are finally uh, getting to a better place and let me let me see if i can show you because i have something to show let me see if we still can see it or oh, we still can see it uh this is a code that i receive and um uh, let me see if you can see it there you see on my ankle i received that code and i have to put it on my ankle and this is also related to abundance and the root chakra it's it's actually a crystal it's a red crystal and it was given to me by uh adama of telos and also jesus um so i have to do a tattoo on myself which of course is not that it's just made with sharpie my daughter made it for me but uh it is a representation of the huge changes that are going in that restructuration of the root chakra. And imagine this, it's a huge restructuration because, because we were in that programming of a scarcity mindset. Also as humanity, all the wars we've been through, right? Our great great grandparents, they were in the war. In the first world war, in the second one. Imagine all the mindset of fear, scarcity, and all of that. So, whether we have that within us, so that's what we have been clearing out completely. And then it's coming to this place of wait a minute, I deserve this abundance not only do i deserve this abundance i am worthy and i am capable of handling this abundance and i have this abundance within me in the key to open up the gates of abundance is within me. It's not outside of me. No one can steal that from me. This abundance is not on the bank. This abundance is with me. So when we understand that on a deeper level, Nothing can come and tell you, hey, you will not have the right to have this. Or, hey, I'm going to take it from you. No, you cannot take it from me because it's within me. It's in my cells. It's in my body. It is my divine right. And it is me who is co-creating this reality. No one can co-create that reality for you. And when you really get into that understanding and that power of the root chakra, when you really understand that everything is connected and the way you think, if you think positive, if you think abundant thoughts, if you think that you are worthy, you are sending a signal there's information there is vibration that is coming out of you 
and that vibration creates, in this case, your financial reality. So if we think, oh, um, the government, Gazara uh, and Zara, they are going to come and give money, yada, yada, yada. In, in some way, you are putting abundance outside of you. You are saying, I have to wait for someone to come and do something for me. Instead, when you say, I am the creator of my own reality, and I can co-create, because if I think, if I can have the focus on my mind to really see, okay, I am ready for abundance. I don't have to put a condition around. I don't have to expect that my abundance is going to come from my salary or that my, my abundance is going to come from a lottery winning ticket or that my abundance is going to come through um, an inheritance. No, when we don't think about that, when we simply are, when we simply think good thoughts, money's here. I can feel it. My financial freedom is here. My financial freedom is here. Thank you, God. Oh, I can buy this. Thank you, God. And I can talk from experience because I myself suffer <laughs> for so long from a scarcity mindset due to my uh, upbringing, the way I was raised, my life experiences. And I went through everything. And I, I, I and, and, and at some points in my life, I had access to a lot of money. And I, for one reason or the other, I gave it away. I built home for my parents. I bought a house for my brother. I bought this for this. Da, 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 da. I spent a lot of money on doing healings for me because I was in need a few years ago. I lost money. I got robbed. So, having, not having money, not having money at all, having a lot of money, losing the money. Having that feeling of, oh my goodness, I don't have any more money. It's gone. What am I going to do? I have gone through all of that to come to this consciousness of abundance. And then see it manifest in my life. Not in the way I was thinking, not in the way I was expecting. But, I, but it's a working process because I know it will continue to grow and to expand. But I'm finding amazing deals lately, really beautiful deals uh, that can get, I was able to get in a car able to buy tickets to go on vacation, so I'm going on vacations very soon to visit my family. But all of this is just to, my goodness, the moment I began to understand, and I'm saying I began to understand because I am working on this, because we have been so conditioned to think about things that we don't have to think. So sometimes it's very hard to align your thoughts in, in a direction. In this case, the direction is financial freedom and I am doing this with everything I have and it's not only for me it's for all of us because I know the more people who are able to understand this at a deep level but from a perspective of empowerment then the doors of abundance they will continue to open because then we are not victims anymore. And then we are not in competition anymore that I have to compete with the other or that I have to worry that, that there will not be enough for everyone. No, there is plenty for everyone and we all have access to this. 
Takuram atakisim na arya bakashnava. Bari makanin ya kuri takasamani kuri takayava. Baki shinimi karakura manena kuri takiyatara. Diri diu tu sinemana ya arya takin nera kin ni shirya karaya. So going through all the illusions of separation and talk about separation, we are talking about our finances. Apply all of this to our to the finances in your in your in your life or in the life of your loved ones. Because even if you are rich, even if you are rich, you have to deal with finances. I know people who are rich. And they don't feel happy even if they have plenty. And you know, one of the reasons they don't feel happy, some people feel guilty about having money. Others, they try to buy their happiness and they don't find it. Others don't feel they have their purpose. There are some people who are rich and are happy. Yes. Are happy. Yes. But are dealing with other issues with money, even if they have a lot of money, they also have issues. So the root chakra for the whole humanity has been a big issue for everyone, even for those who had a lot of money. So this healing, this attunement is for everyone, is for everyone and is the beauty of it. And at the same time is Clearing the, the mindset. And the mindset, my goodness, sometimes is so difficult. Sometimes is so difficult. The judgment around money. Some people judge others who have money. Or some people judge someone who uh, gets, for example, I love flowers. I love flowers. And I bought beautiful flowers and I talk about it at my office and people were like, why do you spend so much money buying flowers? They die two days later and where's your money gone? And I took a step back and I felt, oh my goodness, I have so much compassion. Because flowers are life. Flowers are sacred geometry. Flowers connect us with our divine wealth and abundance because Mother Nature is abundant. Flowers help you to uplift your spirit and to heighten your vibration. As long as people keep putting a price tag in certain things, that is not going to help them. But the good news is that people like us are really understanding and going beyond the fears, going beyond the judgment, going beyond the way we were raised, whether we had plenty of money or not at all. It's a revolution. It's a revolution of the root chakra. It's humanity getting in contact back with the power. The power to create financial abundance, to feel worthy of it, to, be, to feel capable of managing your finance. If you are not able to manage your salary, no matter how small or how big it is, then how are you going to manage more money? There has to be a balance in everything. And there has to be a restructuration because what we thought, you know, the programming of have the best car, the most expensive car, the bigger home, and all, we don't need any of that. We can be happy with a smaller home. So everything is changing. It's changing very fast very fast and the new children, the new generations, they just come like whew, clear in their mind. They would not be slave or as affected by programs the way we were, the older generations, because they come 
with the crystalline body and they bring a new mentality, a new way of thinking, they would not be affected the same way we were. So humanity as a whole is moving to something better. But the good news is, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can experience this too if you do the work to align with this abundance. So with that, beloveds, I close this session with a musical note, the musical note of abundance and attunement. of divine abundance and so it is oh <laughs> thank you ariel for being here it's been my pleasure i'm so so happy and delighted that you are here wow i'm so happy that you were here with me to receive this beautiful information I thought it would be just talking about Kim Pakal and the cold but boom, root chakra and all of the way. So this is a great session. Thank you again, Ariel. I love you. I love you. I love you. My divinity salutes the divinity in you. And I will tell you to the next one. Take good care, Ariel. Take good care. Mwah. And bye to the other co-creators and those who watch the video later.